adding the frames to the template for the double mode. And then we lock it all into place with the locking tab. And let it dry. Alright, so that's all the um, Frames completed. Now it's a matter of uh, putting them in the base keel. I'll show you how I put a couple of them in because uh, they're all done exactly the same and uh, it'll give you a rough idea of what to do. Uh, they were a bit of a pain in the posterior to put together. Uh, they can get very fragile and need a lot of cleaning up. Uh, some of the pieces are very, very, very roughly cut uh, and some of the Templates that hold the wood uh, were not cut exactly all the way through uh, as much as the others. So I don't know how many um, number 11 blades I destroyed cutting the things out, but uh, it wasn't a lot of fun. Anyway, at least they're all done. So uh, I'm going to show you how we put them in. little trick I discovered when doing these templates. Um, there are two sorts, those that have... Uh, the edges stuck on uh, which have a decent enough width and those that have a single piece where they're actually glued on here and here these are actually smaller than the width of uh, this guy here now if you try and sand them out there's a good chance you'll break those however if you keep your template pieces uh, it's easy enough to position them right over the hole, use a couple of clamps to hold them in place and that gives you a nice filing template to file them and piece number uh, 14 just happens to be the same width as the keel so once you've slined it you can slot that into there and it fits nice and perfectly you'll know they'll fit perfectly on the bottom keel. Just a quick little trick Cheers. To give you an idea how to add some of the double frames, we'll add a couple. Uh, there are singles and there are doubles joined together. Um, they sit on top, or sorry, in between uh, the spacings. Uh, so make sure when you put them in that you fold them properly so they do fit in the spacings here. Uh, otherwise you'll find they won't sit flush as they come down and along. Uh, I'll now add a couple for you. Add a bit of glue. You can get the glue to come out. There we go. Start with what are we up to? That was fifty one. Well, some of these slots are very, very tight, and these guys here are very, very um, fragile. It's easy to snap them off with the glue points. So just be careful when you push them down and through and make sure that they fit properly within the, where they're supposed to. Push them down and through. 
push them down nicely. I'm going to add a double frame. So put the first frame in. Add a bit of glue on the frame so it sits. Make sure she sits the way she's supposed to in there. So I said make sure you sand these double ones out, otherwise it gets really, really, really tight. Put some glue on the next one. Yeah, cheers. Right, 48. So it is tight. Just take your time, don't force it down. So they will snap, as I discovered. And They should, because they're all fitting down from sit nicely in place. And we add a bit of glue at the top, hold them in. And that's it. I'll fast forward in time and I'll show you how to add the last couple. Otherwise, that's how you add double ribs. Now we'll add some more. 47. If you hear me yell out, it's because I'm not happy that it's too tight. Yep, it's too tight. It needs to be sanded out some more. Some of these are very tight. And there's the result. I need to be loosened slightly so the keel will fit. Without causing too much stress on them. Like I said, they're very, very delicate. Six. I need to adjust him again. Very tight again. A lot of these holders are quite tight. small slot, sit in the body perfectly, adjust the outsides, should insert glues, and a bit of glue to the top here, I won't bore you, I'll add in uh, the keels up to the halfway point and then we might do a bit more. So now we've got another um, 16 ribs to add and the hull is complete from the dual rib point of view. Uh, I'll add those next ribs in the next video and then we'll put the spacing ribs which are due to go in spacing in between these main ribs every so often. Uh, it's about every third or fourth uh, and we'll show you those short ribs when they go in. Thank you very much. Cheers.